I'm dressed as Best Boy Nightcrawler was too much time and effort for me to do in two weeks, <laughs> so I chose Cyclops instead. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Scott Summers. Yeah. I'm rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mr. Fantastic. Fucking asshole. You dick. AKA not an X Man. I'm the leader of the X Men. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Get away. We already have on Wolverine Claw casualty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you looking at right oh, now? Oh, look, yeah. Always oh, you. Oh, oh, oh shit. Nice. I am the Dark Phoenix, <laughs> and apparently California passed a law where you can't buy colored contacts over the counter, but luckily, I have a post team at my power. Oh. Take it, Matt Shapiro! Oh. What's happening? Oh. I'm imagining that it's happening. <laughs> Wait, so why is she wearing scary. a propeller beanie, though? <laughs> you shut up! You shut up! Don't listen, Max. Don't listen. Well, my X-Men and whoever this douche is. Uh, now, I hate to say this, but right in the middle of you, right between you, like right here, yep. is a cre the creepy girl from the ring, and the only way to survive is to punch her! Punch her right there! Punch her over and over! Punch her! Punch her! <laughs> well, that wasn't funny on paper. <laughs> and you see Pike Troop come around the corner with a full pitcher, and it's just like, just chugging it, it's kind of spilling a bit in the chin. <sighs> Anybody else? I, I, oh, yeah, sure. Keep you looking fine. young. <laughs> okay. I know, I feel like Pike's pitcher would be the, the right size for you. Oh, <laughs> Y'all are the same. Oh, I'm getting small. Oh, no! Lana, you deserve to be more than a footnote in Delilah's story. There are people here who need you. I don't know what Bell's Hells will be without your darkness, Lana, or your light. Please, come back. And with his free hand, he sort of scooches forward on his knees and he starts trailing his hand down through Lana's hair and Red poppies start to bloom all through her black hair. I'll allow you to make either a persuasion check or nature, using the poppies as a, an anchor. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. okay. Threshold was ten. Uh, uh, so that is one success for the ritual, which lowers the DC by three okay. of the resurrection. You might not have been perfect, but you loved and you loved Escargot and sashimi, and you loved Imogen. And I've always been told that a soul that loves at least touches perfection. You once said to me that the worst thing that ever happened to you has already happened. Now I can say that the worst thing that ever has happened to us has already happened. With you not here, uh, it's really scary and not the fun kind. Pike said that you might not want to come back, so I'm afraid we can't let you do that. So I'm going to cast Compulsion on her and compel her to come back, if possible. Okay. Natural one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You, you. you know you saved my life, right? If you hadn't come into town when you did, I don't know how long I would have lasted. These last few years have been, they've been everything. And through it all, through all the laughter and all the hardships, she was with you. She was choking you. If you come back, I don't know how you're gonna feel. I don't know if you'll feel free or if you'll feel empty, but I want you to know whatever Whatever hole she's leaving, I'll be there to help fill it, all right? I'll be there for you. I'm not gonna tell you to come back. I'm not gonna try to compel you to come back because that choice, Laudna, is yours now. No one gets to control you anymore, all right? Just know that I love you. And I'm here. Make a persuasion check for me. Oh no. 
Yeah. <sighs> nope. Did you have the D4 for? Uh... I did. Okay. What's it's, the total? Um, it's a seven. It's a seven. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take a picture that of that. Oh, no. I'm so stressed. I got a nose bleed. Oh, oh no. my god! <laughs> How appropriate. Is she a real shallow breather? She doesn't breathe at all, most of the time. She licks her hand and slaps oh. the side of Laudna's face, of which immediately Laudna sits up, jolted awake from the oh. pain. Laudna, if you come back to the table, please. Oh! What did you roll? 16. <laughs> oh my god. Laudna, you're back! <laughs> Are you back? Are you okay? Is it you? Say something only Lana would know quick! Uh oh, she can't speak. I, I, I don't. Have you found anything else out about your mom? Oh. It's her! Take this! No, it's good. <laughs> Is she gone? Is she gone? You don't know. Uh -huh. Is there is there any? <laughs> how long? How long has it been? Years. Oh God! <laughs> what happened at the solstice? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is all that's left. <laughs> Just us, so I survived. These oh, fine God. people here are going to help us recreate society. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> The one with the bow's with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You hear the bow <laughs> tensing <laughs> once more. Okay, okay. Run an intelligence check for me, if you don't mind. Just straight intelligence. Just straight intelligence. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Not really, unfortunately. You uh, just, you were just dead. Stupid. You were, you were. <laughs> <laughs> intelligence of six. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm doing. <laughs> just stay close. <laughs> you all step out. This gets to be real now. Are you sure? This isn't one of her tricks. I'm sure. You promise. Cross my heart. Lana walks up to it, actively trying to rewrite the vision and the memory in her head, but it's like the sentry she knows is fighting. It's almost like it's flashing back and forth. It's like right in the periphery of her eyes, she can see darkness and ropes swinging and the sound of screams in the dissonance between that and the laughter of children and the market nearby. It's confusing. Four kids kind of run past, one of them trying to tag the others. She kind of glances over at you and sees you and kind of. <laughs> Hi. Hello. You're scary. It's okay. I'm fun scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lana grapples with this concept that there are these children who are never going to know anything different. She reaches up and she just touches the sun tree. She closes her eyes and starts to embody her form of tread, but her normal morning veil kind of cracks and crumbles and falls kind of in the same way that the leaf does. And she just takes the sun tree and embodies it. From onlookers, it looks like branches start sprouting from her shoulders. And you see almost an entire life cycle or a year's worth of seasons as the branches bloom and then wither and then fall. I take it your name is uh, Lodna. 
My name is Sir Percival the Rover, the foe. This is my home, and I acknowledge that you have suffered much under the Briarwoods. You are welcome home whenever you should wish. I named my dead rat after you. Excuse me, hmm? what? You have a long lost cousin, his name's Pate. Lady Vixalia kind of approaches from behind him, puts her hand on Percival's shoulder and goes, darling, you're so awkward. <laughs> Miss Trickfoot, I wanted to thank you very much for helping us and bringing our, our friend back. Happy to help. May I give you a hug? Yeah. Goes out and. I'm going to try No, to you're not going to do this. <laughs> yes. I'm yes. not going to do it to your own character. <laughs> What'd you roll? 17. Anything particular you're going for? <laughs> um, the holy symbol. Oh, oh no. wow. Okay. Uh, what is the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to. Well, you, you get go ready ahead. to do another re resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and like, Get your finger through the chain and begin to pull. And as she kind of pulls away from the hug, she kind of gets like caught. Like, ah, I, oh, I, I think you're caught. I'm, oh, I just, shoot. Mm, uh, sorry about that. Just uh, gets caught on things. Oh yeah, my my bracelets and all this hair. It just gets all tangled. She Thank smiles. You. She gives you a wink. <laughs> a wink look. Well, feel free to come by the bakery where I can see you. Okay. <laughs> In plain sight, yes. at all times. I just okay. I pull Pate out and take the sinewy strings and kind of collapse them down on itself on top of him and pull him apart and cast Find Familiar. Oh, yes. What? And it arcs downward before the back tears open in what looks to be a pair of awful-looking tattered wings that emerge from the back. Like his rib cage is now yeah, his like, wings. Like, oh, oh my god, I love that. Yeah. Over the back. It's Orphan right. maker. As it flies it up. On. Oh, hello. Oh. It's so nice to meet all of you. Uh, Okay, it's no, real! Right. All right, so it's real nice to meet all of you for the first time. Really, not for the first time, but like really the first time. This is Ashton. It is so nice to meet you. Oh, look at you! Hey, look at you! This is Orem. Orem, you're even smaller! What a couple of days <laughs> it's been. Oh, wow. You wow. remember Imogen? Imogen, <laughs> oh, I do indeed. And like, flies up this tiny little rat hand that puts it out, takes it, goes like, <gasps> Yeah, oh. and like kind of kisses it, but like Pate, like the Pate. bone kind of boundaries. He's a gentleman. He, uh, we'll have to work on that. <laughs> on that. Um, <laughs> and this is FCG. Smiley day to you. Whoa, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, whoa, you are alive now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels great. It does, I just found out I have a soul. So. Congratulations, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Fern, oh, who. Hello. hello, oh, hello, Miss Fancy, hello. I'm all right, easy. Sorry, it's just a natural <laughs> process, you know. <laughs> and this spell lasts like a minute or <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> this spell just lasts. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Find um, familiar until you um, dispel them. And it lasts for. There's even more going on here, too. Okay. Yes, there's more because of my pact. Got a little uh, bit of English going on here, huh? Yeah. Um, oh You're packed with who? It just, he's just, he's just here now. Great! He's just, he's just What here. a he's family! Just, just like the rest of you, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I love flying things! <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, a request. I, too, am. Um, a bit of an inventor and an intelligent thinker myself. Um, I have a design that I'm really hoping that maybe you could you could make. I'm gonna dip my finger in the wine, and I'm gonna draw 
a little gun. <laughs> I don't so, know. so this would be for my my monkey. <laughs> but what it needs what it needs to do is it needs to be um, able to shoot little fire pellets. So it needs to be work under under tremendous heat. You asking Would you for be a able to please like, say again? A gunky, are you? Are you asking me to craft a custom firearm for your monkey? Yes. And it's to shoot seeds. Flame shit. <laughs> Flaming. <laughs> Actually, I just might have something for you right now. Oh. I cannot believe <laughs> that worked. This is how Planet of the Apes started. <laughs> <laughs> how big is your monkey? Mister. Oh boy. <laughs> Put it on the table. So immediately, like, starts jumping through the plates and like starts grabbing and oh, stuffing food in the on, mouth. Come on, Mister. It's just a kid. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Then so it's this fine. is your monkey. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Lady Vexalia in in her head. She's gonna hear me talking. Um, before the f final course comes out, I can't help but notice Lana seems a little uncomfortable, and I would like to ensure that it's not, not like a lobster dinner or anything. That's what she was served here. Appreciate the heads up. I'm going to go ahead and check on something real fast. <laughs> Just powder my nose, uh -huh. and then um, uh -huh. I'll return shortly. Put them back in the tanks. Back in the tanks. <laughs> Gets up and a short time later, Lady Vexalia returns. Ah, the uh, final call should be up here very soon. A slight delay in the kitchen. Hope everyone likes potatoes. I love them. They're my favorite food. Wonderful. Sure. Yeah, I love potatoes are so good. Especially as a main course. Yeah. They're fantastic. <laughs> in subject. Two. Most of the potato right <laughs> down. Show sure thereafter, Lord Percival returns with a small box. Potatoes. He seems interested, but his mind is. <laughs> okay. Oh, like a clock tower? Because that's what this is. Wow. I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> okay. It's really fun. Really fun. <laughs> I want one of those I pieces. I want one, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a little, that gets a well done, Thank well done. Thank I just wanted to say, um, sorry for my husband, and also, I'm so very sorry. Why are you sorry? Because I can't help but feel a bit responsible for what happened to you. I'm just sorry. You remind me of the ladies that I used to emulate when I was a little girl. <laughs> Your hair, it's so pretty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this has brought me some help and protection in the past, and hope maybe this can do the same for you. She pulls a small band off of her finger and hands it out to you. It's a, um, a ring that contains a protective enchantment. I've had it for quite some time, but I think, I think you have more of a use of it in the paths you're walking. Anyway, I'm going to go drink myself into a stupor. <laughs> if you get restless, you can come to our room. Just <laughs> letting you know. Yeah. We'll see how wild the night gets. <laughs> Behind you and to the left, a faint outline of FCG joining you in this dream. You're here. Where are we? Home. You see ahead of you a shadowed shape that just moves away and vanishes into the dust. You get closer and you can see it's a broader shape. This is more of a warrior's form of a, a masculine outline. Does it look familiar? It's hard to make out the specifics in the intensity of this storm, but you see the walking figure stop, kind of glance over its shoulder, and then no. 
it's gone. Did it feel similar to when Bertrand walked away from me? It had some similarities to it. I think somebody just died. Oh God, I hope it's not Estral's. Are you okay? Until eventually the vibrant red becomes a deep, dark maroon. And as the wind begins to die, this is different. The space above you begins to thin. Where the dust dies down, you see a dark voided scape filled with thousands and thousands of stars. Where are we now? We're on the moon, bitch. I'm gonna knock on the sun tree. What? Just open up. <laughs> Do you have speak with plants? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you wanted to, you could have set it as one of your spells overnight while you were sleeping. So Fern, are you doing this? <laughs> that is a question that is asked every session. <laughs> I was just actually seeing if um, you could open 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 up your body, just like a like a door. Are you there? Are you? Can I talk to you? Hello? Hey. <laughs> hey, Fern. Oh, hi. How long have you been here? Oh, Just... long time. Please mm. come and go. I'd say the same. Nope. Nope. All right, all right, all right. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, since you've been here for a while, I want to send a message to Lord Eshras. Okay. Are you alive still? That's it. I had a dream. A dream about you, Lord Eshras. You wait a moment, about a minute passes. No response. <gasps> Two minutes. Five minutes. No. No, no response. What did you see in the sky? Did you see home? In the sky, we saw stars. No flat disc. No, that's why I was trying to spot Exandria. <laughs> I wanted to show FCG that it was a fucking circle. Well, I couldn't see it though, because the angle was like. Would you like a planet? <laughs> Thank you. Imogen, the time has come. This and I wanted you to have. Oh. I can hand it to her. <laughs> <laughs> this, this horse. Does it move? Why, yes, but it requires no metal of any kind for <laughs> such a feat. There's a little switch and everything, but don't worry about it. It's, it's, yeah. It only took me like 17 hours to make. He's great. Oh, there is a switch. But no, no bad, no bad. There's a winder. There's a winder. Careful, if you wind it the wrong way, it does explode. <laughs> Jenny, this is... The shit? I know. I mean, it's it, it really is. Can you see why it was taking so long? I had to assemble it in small pieces. This took a really long I time. I barely slept I've last been... night. You know. <laughs> wanted to do make sure you knew. It. Set it off. Let's do it, do it. Well, I, 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 it's a one. Sorry. Oh. I was just saying, I, I appreciate this. And, uh... I'll let you know. If, I mean, if we want to have a quick stock up, see if there's anything interesting, since we're probably not going to be coming around this way again. Is there a store in Is these parts, Lady Vex? to check out? Yeah, there's all manner of stores. There's uh, general stores, there's uh, blacksmithies, there are... Potions or anything? Magic? Weird oh, shit. Look at what we do for a living. Fair enough. Uh, th there is an, uh, two herbalists within town, though I think one is out to Getting the materials. Okay. Anything for, I don't know, magic potions, magic swords, magic whatever, belts, whatever weird shit that comes around this way? Um, let's see if he's open. Are you, the tension is killing does me. It, does it go? It just like does rattle it go? and yeah. just Break apart. How do I make it go? If you break it, <laughs> I think. Don't you wind it the other way? No, no, it says wind it this way. It has an arrow. Keep twisting it to watch. No, Travis's I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's gonna break. Turn on the switch. 
I thought I did. So I have a switch. Oh, here. I'll move my hands. <gasps> oh, oh God. Let's get your fatty hands. <laughs> Travis, seriously, do I do it? Don't worry, we'll figure it out later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is it immense. It moved once. It did? And then it kind of stopped, and I got a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> turning. Some this, turning. Is, so this is the best kind of television. <laughs> <laughs> It's even better for podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for our podcast listeners, Laura's winding a horse. <laughs> and there are two five foot nothing. rubber arms <laughs> grabbing it from um, the Literally nothing is happening. <laughs> Shania Twain, it's Bell's Hills. If you are awake, we are at the Sun Tree in Whitestone and require transportation back to Drusar. In like 30 minutes. Don't reply to this message until. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till later. No, Why? tell her in like. At what time? Tell her in like. Do we have exactly clocks? Is there clocks on this There's world? There's a giant clock! Okay. You okay. can see it. <laughs> Literally in the town. We're Eshteros' friends. Could you open Portal to Sun Tree in exact. Two hour? Why? Why? You why can finish you, the world. Why are you speaking common anymore? I'm just saying. 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 I'm
he's I dead. I mean, I'm sorry, he's... He will also... He got a letter and he read it really quick and, and he's definitely dead and he oh. loves spending time I definitely read it silently because we're in the middle of a fucking house. You didn't hear shit. I thought you read it. Well, you read it. No, I look up at Pate. No, I look up at Pate. You use your lips when you read. There's a will. I'm coming back out the way I came. He's coming with a will. 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 He's coming with a the body! <laughs> <laughs>